In this video, I'm going to go over the basics of using C out in C++. So here would be an example of using C out. But what's actually going on here? So C out is a stream object, which means it works with streams of data. And it's called the standard output stream object, which means it outputs data to the console by default. The console is a text-based interface for interacting with the computer. Modern operating systems will still provide a console or what we might call a terminal, command line, or shell. When using an integrated development environment, like for example, Xcode, the console output is typically displayed in a separate pop-up window. Now this less than, less than operator here is what's called the stream insertion operator. And here we are inserting the string literal test to the standard output stream which will have the effect of printing test to the console. So I'll save and run this. Now the Xcode development environment automatically prints out this program exit status text directly after our program output test here. We could add the stream manipulator end L, sometimes called end line, using another insertion operator so that a new line is inserted as well. So for example, C out less than less than, and we'll say here end L. And this is the stream manipulator. So if we save this and run it now, we're gonna get test followed by the program ended with exit code zero here. And what's going on here is that end L inserts a new line into this output stream here. If we don't insert an end L stream manipulator, the output will not be put on new lines. So for example, if we said C out ABC and then C out one, two, three, and then C out X, Y, Z, and then we do a C out with an end L. If we save and run this, we're going to get ABC one, two, three, X, Y, Z all on one line. So just using multiple C out statements like this is not going to put these on different lines. It's this end L that will do that. Now there is another way we can insert a new line into our output stream. And that's what this special character backslash N that represents a new line. So we could say C out another line of text backslash N. And if we save and run this, we're going to get another line of text followed by that new line. This takes up less characters than an end L, and so sometimes it's preferred by programmers. We can actually chain together multiple stream insertion operators like this. So next we'll say C out stream insertion operator. Let's learn how to space stream insertion operator use C out backslash n. And now we've got two stream insertion operators being used in a chain with multiple string literals in the same statement. And if we save and run this, we're going to get the expected output. We get, let's learn how to use C out. So being able to chain insertion operators is going to be quite useful. One thing we can do is put multiple stream manipulators in the middle of the chain as well. So we could say C out line one end L, then line two, and then an end L. And if we save and run this, we'll get line one followed by a new line, and then line two followed by a new line. We can also output the value of a variable using a stream insertion operator. So if we have a variable here, int x, that's set equal to 20, we could say C out stream insertion operator x colon stream insertion operator X and stream insertion operator end L. And if we save and run this, we're gonna get the output X colon 20. So the value of the variable, not the variable name, this value that the variable is set to will be output when we use it with the stream insertion operator. And this is quite useful because we can do this in the middle of a chain of stream insertion operators to place dynamic content. In other words, values that may change in the middle of our output. 
let's say we've got a program that needs to output somebody's age. We could say int age is equal to 45. And maybe this is some variable that could change over the course of our program, maybe depending on what the user input or some calculation. And then we could say C out, his father is, output the age, and then say years old with a backslash n. And if we save and run this, we're going to get his father is 45 years old. And so this is the basics of using C out. We can do some more things with C out if we include additional libraries, but we'll cover those libraries in future videos. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.